Oh, actually, I didn't want to mute myself once. Coolio. Okay. Let's play some expeditions. Okay, first things first. Any bad cards? Yep. Haunted Relic is unplayable, even in a Heckam deck. Ah, uh, the rest is fine, though. So, let's try Caitlyn out again, because... As usual, we go by who has the lowest master points. And that's gotta be Caitlyn, I imagine. 36 to 78, not particularly close. But the record heck comes 58, so even even then we'd be picking um Caitlyn. Uh we've we've done this stuff that day, didn't we? We try to go the um the puff cat route with Karma. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> I don't... Did it go well? Did we get to final boss? I remember. I got a terrible memory. Anyways, easy aloof here. Uh... Jeez, are we taking Plaza Guard Guardian? Because, like, we don't want Icebone Legacy. We don't want Vanya up with, like, no one drops. I'm not a huge fan of Plaza Guardian, but... It's the best of what we're being offered. Take the Sting Officer here. Um. Well, yeah, we're we're gonna take the unspeakable hole because it's a good card. I'm just kind of curious how much that's gonna really screw up our drafts here, but that's okay. Um. Anyways, advanced intel is bad. Could take another pet though, but I'm really tempted by these um double removal spells, and I think I'm just gonna take the double removal spells. Especially since Defiant Dance is not all that great. Okay, now we'll t take Mushroom Cloud, the actual card. Um, we only have, what, four three drops at the moment? So not that great. But it's probably good enough. Um, hmm. This is an interesting one. I'm not a fan of Amberst, I'm not a fan of Time Minder, and I'm not a fan of uh, Conspirator, so... <laughs> uh, we're gonna take the Time Minder though, because I always like hard removal. Okay, we take the Aristocrat Mystic Shot here. Uh, take another Archivist, I believe, yeah. Take a Aristocrat Mystic Shot, or Fae Guy's Skills. That one's actually kind of close. I'm going to take the early game. Uh, Apprentice? Yeah, Apprentice. Although, eh, not like I really want to be tossing cards in this deck, but life still is always nice. Take the early game here. Although, what? Do we do we generate enough puff cats for this rummage? It doesn't look like we do. We have one here, and that's about it. <laughs> that's about it, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm not a fan of Time Rider, but I'm not a fan of Deep Meditation either. I think we're just taking this gotcha. Okay. An interesting deck, I would say. <laughs> Definitely looks like it's lacking some punch, I would say, but... Eh, you never know. Okay, we got Misfortune Fizz, so that's most likely an aggro deck. Um... I would play an Archivist on 3 is like, I'm going to be uh, drawing a card that I probably won't be able to play, so I guess we're going to put it back for now. Although I do have the Ego Apprentice, which does, will actually give me 3 spell mana. Who actually, I think we should have kept it. Oh well, too late now. <laughs>
Let's still attack. Okay. Let's play Heaven's Lie, get a Nightfire card, and play the Dead Bloom. Oh, wait, I thought I had one more mana. Well, we screwed up there, didn't we? Okay, well, he's not attacking with much fortune, anyways, which he really should be doing. But yeah, we, we should have played uh, the Dead Bloom there to block the misfortune. Like I said, I just I thought I had a spell mana for some reason. Why not prank this one? So I mean, I guess he's like no best to really attack misfortune, anyways. Okay, well we're just gonna actually let's attack first because looks like he doesn't want to put any damage on misfortune. Yeah. And now we could um, after soccer. Thankfully, his non-attack though gave us um, information that that was a pretty free attack. Easy enough. They always hide, and we always find them. So uh, we're probably just using it ourselves because our hand is kind of garbage here. Well, that's an easy pass. I don't know what my opponent is trying to do there, but like <laughs> you have a lot of mana, you should you should probably be using. So yeah, I have no clue what my opponent's game plan is, but we can still take the pass. We're ahead on board. Shadow ship that's not really doing much for us, so we might as well play it. Does my opponent like have nothing but combat tricks over there? Because, like, he's certainly not playing very much. Okay. We could save it, but honestly, I'm probably not gonna bother. Intel looks good. Affirmative. Ready to breach. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think it's worth saving it. Tough places bring tough people. So this is like just literally just gonna be a draw card, isn't it? Because like we have no nightfall on our deck, obviously. What's this at? Only two damage. <laughs> Yeah, we're just like taking this slow and steady. Hmm. Came to wrong place. 
Okay, well that's <laughs> easy for me. Uh, don't have to think about that too much. Might as well draw a card, I guess. Bad, at least. Oh, also does help my um, improvement, doesn't it? So that's nice. Oh, I don't think the Supreme is going to get much more value, so I might as well use it now. Okay, hey, pretty good. Um, I guess we just play this out on open attack. They'll never see me coming. Keep the mushroom cloud in hand because I'm want to discard of most wanted. Hey, there we go. My my opponent just had a bad deck. <laughs> I mean, there's just no no two ways around it. So many combat tricks, not enough units. Okay, well the Caitlyn needs the mastery points, but it's like honestly not a Caitlyn deck. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to take the Ezreal. Because Caitlyn is literally just a 3-mana, 3-3 three, three quick attack in this deck. We just don't have any real way to put puff caps in this deck. So, pretty easy Ezreal here. Okay, we got Fear and I think that's the Zed. Yeah, sometimes with those skins, it's l if you don't see them all that often, which let's be honest, you don't see many of the skins all that often. It's a little tough to tell. And so double check to make sure I was right. I was. Coolio. So interesting though, he chose to, oh, I should probably play something first. <laughs> but he chose to get the skin for Zed, but not Fiora. And it's not like he doesn't like Fiora, that's because that's a lot of mastery points on Fiora, so... Maybe he just could only afford one skin. Or maybe he just wasn't a fan of the Beach Fiora skin. Uh, anyways, let's just mystic shot that. So there's no real reason to block that. I smell a rat. Okay, I guess we found our next nice mystic shot target. We well, are definitely running out of cards though, so that's a bit of an issue. Not quite sure why you didn't block the one one, because like if you attack with the two one, I'm just blocking it. Think it fast, cute.
Okay, they still die. So we're still trading card for card for the most part. Okay, easy as real. Time for a true display of skill. Uh, two out of six. Hmm, what could that be? Single combat, I guess? And it was single combat, okay. Fair enough. But now we're at least ahead on the card advantage race, so that's good for us. Try to keep up. <laughs> now Zucker would want to be Vincent, but hey. Um Yeah, let's go ahead and play it first. I think there's a pretty good chance I could kill whatever block he puts down. Oh, unfortunately I was kinda wrong, but <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I guess we do it this turn. Mm, or maybe we wait to see if he plays another unit and see if we get the Withering Mist off. Actually, I, th I think we could wait on this. That's why I was like, maybe we don't even need to do it. Okay, yeah, now, now this is very easy. That's why we waited. Not a good card, but good in this particular instance. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. I will cut you. Try me. Well, it looks like it's a good old fashioned top deck war at the moment. I'm gonna play the loof. Nothing. Elf, that's not ours. Ooh, that's a good top deck. Where there is life, there is hope. One banner, one destiny. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Do I have to? Oh, don't forget to attack the Lucid, buddy. <laughs> That'd be slightly sad. Do not waver. Always a little annoying when he hits the Legion sign. A two region deck, but no big deal. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'll take that. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Okay, let's just kill Fiora. Not realize it's zero attack. I don't know. 
Just giving up units though. Probably should have played that next turn, but no big deal. Yeah, it's like so annoying because we can't we can't recall the vanguards. That's like negative card advantage for us. I guess we could have grasped the dying it, but didn't think we really needed to, to be honest. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Kind of had a decent deck though, so that makes me feel like a little better because that means our deck's halfway decent. Okay, well, knowing that we're not really a, um, a puff cap deck, do we even want this inside of knowledge? Maybe we're low enough curve that we just still need it for the card draw. It's going to feel really bad against, like, another puff cap deck, though. <laughs> um... Honestly, though, I think we need it for just for the card draw. So I think we're going to skip this. And also never take the Vault of Helios. <laughs> I was seeing that epic down there. I was just kind of laughing to myself like, no. <laughs> Why does that card exist? Because <laughs> you could probably make some, you know, halfway decent meme decks and and constructor with it, but good lord, that card should not be an extra distance. Yeah, we got darkness. Okay, um... I think we keep this. I will admit, Unspeakable Horror doesn't hit it too much, but it's also a little tough to mulligan uh, Unspeakable Horror, in my opinion. Okay, so take one here. I'm gonna play the Sting Officer. Oh, well, we found something to um, Unspeakable Horror, at the very least. Can also our guy probably just open and talk with the two win. Oh yeah, halfway decent. On foot. These coming. So let's do Archivist and see if we get. Ooh, that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can find an answer for this 3 2. And nope. But. We could, like, at least unspeak a whole of the Vyga, then we could play Caitlyn, and then the Tribeam could finish it off. It's a little slow, but it works. City shift, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Yeah, but this doctor is going to uh, fall down if I can even potentially kill Viga. It is like definitely not great for us. They've got a 
I guess we should play this. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, not good. I use that with blocking the fly go. What am I talking about? I guess he's blocking the three three though, but he's he gets to pull it with the three three anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so <laughs> tri beam and green clade. How can I my elusive instead of going after the three three? Been interesting. They've got a ghost of a chance. Hey, we got a look good. <laughs> <laughs> the Yordle here is with me. Ready to fire. Seal the rooms for the pages. Hey, we killed something with the flash bounce. That's nice. So if we play Ezreal first, this is just going towards Ezreal, isn't it? And I think I'd rather to go towards Ezreal than the duo, so I think I'm fine with that. Until that drain really hurts. Getting dark. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Whatever the cost. Be a, a tough one to try to try to push through enough damage. Kind of hesitant about giving him more cards, but other. Yep, but at least these are Lucy's life, so that's good. I'm here till it's done, and it's never done. Keep your distance. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's take it for a second. Okay, so how much mana do we have next to nine mana? So what is the play next turn? This plus this plus unspeakable horror? I guess. I 
I wonder, do we just like go face with this? Like just try to fence him off that way? Well, that's not very nice. Does make it a little tough to win here, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, just a little. Megan in front of bomb <laughs> definitely puts a lot of uh, makes it a lot tough to win here. Well, we do have some after socks in the deck, so we still have lethal outs. But we got stunned and went out of time, that's for sure. Luck, a thing. <laughs> oh, my eclipse dra <laughs> dragon, that sucked. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. The sea is too shallow a grave. Intel looks good. Affirmative. Ready to breach. Boom. Time to collect. Okay. Um Are we gonna play about atrocity? Okay, so he can't kill us with atrocity, so we just take this damage. Mm, not going after the elusive again. Concentrated forgiveness. His decision making has definitely been questionable, in my opinion, but hey. He's winning because he's darkness, so <laughs> who am I to judge? Drain. <laughs> Super annoying. Honestly, I think I have to miss six out my own guy to prevent the drain. Might, we might be able to pull this through now. Because we know our Mystic Shot's coming up pretty soon here. Uh, the only problem is we don't have enough mana to do double Mystic Shot this turn. So if he's got another Drain, he's still probably going to win. I guess we could just like I don't know it's tough because yeah we could uh we could uh what do you call it mystic shot in response to him doing the drain I 
Wow, we know I'm missing south on top five of the card. Five of the card, and like it's not in the top three. Ah, there it is at least. Okay, only one man, I was safe. Now yeah, we somehow beat the um, ridiculous that is darkness. Those are not fun matches, they are really are not fun. I think the only thing I hate playing against the worst and more is uh, puff caps. Uh, I mean, come on. We don't have puff caps. Queen is completely useless for us. Let's just take the swift foot. Okay, we got fear and ass. Um, well, normally we keep unspeakable hole, but not found an activation card for it, and I'm just never going to mulligan a loop. <laughs> that's just never going to happen. Ooh, that's not in hand. At least you could after sock a fear on turn three, so. That's about the only thing we have going for us. Well, thankfully my punish not too fast either, so we take those. Eh, we're just gonna play the Dead Bloom. Okay, yeah, so we got another card out of him, so that's kind of what we're hoping to do. No, he doesn't have a full fear, so I'm all good. So yeah, easy to lift turn. Elf, that's not ours. <laughs> not sad to see that go. Uh, my opponent's got to be fuming. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> I mean, we have the have to sock to kill it anyways, but still. We fight for one Ooh, that's good. Lord. Okay. Um. Let's just play Dead Bloom and Mystic Shot down the three-two. Why are we doing that? What if we just withering miss next turn? I kind of like withering miss better. Save this for like a few or something. Well, what have we here? So up to five, which is not more than I ever thought I'd be at. 
finds in grace, beauty in the blade. Okay, we can still attack, I'm pretty sure. We did get slightly punished there, but not that big of a deal. And the Today we fight as one. Nah, not the best use of this vengeance, but we're going to do it. Okay, so let's do Peddler into Tri Beam. Hmm, alternatively, now we could just um, Mystic Shot and Unspeakable Horror it. I kind of like that better. Kid also is after socket. That's after socket. How do we want to handle this? I think we're going to try beam this. Counter and strike. You have another barrier? No? Okay, so yeah. I'm, I don't know, I felt like you m might want to use that to keep uh, Fiora alive there. But maybe that's just me. Let's just attack. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Looks like he definitely tried to do like an all-in Fiora deck. I'm gonna pass for now. <laughs> ah, that is why you pass. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I would do it. That, that that unyielding wasn't even that great on Fiora. You probably should have done the uh, on the overwhelm. 
He, he got way too focused on being an all in for deck there. Because putting making a 14, 12, or 1 was like 10 times better there. And it was looks like it really missed. Okay, Savannah Viego. That's another tough one. Not the greatest sound to fight against this um, Savannah Viego, but I also don't know what would be a good starting hand to fight against this, so you know. <laughs> you know. Nothing escapes my notice. Okay. Another Maid Seeker. Just get bad cards off those, please. <laughs> You'll go no farther. Well, I see only Black Rock One. What's the other one doing for you? Maybe once they suck outlets? That could be it. Fire and Savannah. Well, what have we here? Break them. Turning yourself in? That Certainly not the <laughs> greatest use of that, but like we need to have to shock Savannah, unfortunately. Lady Elise, where are you? Eh, yeah, well. Lots of cards beat this, but we still gotta go for it. Okay, that is one of the mini cards that beat it. That sucked. Get you that mm, looks like we're kind of just losing to us for here, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Fun times. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> hey, we got that that time. And welcome to the new problem. The whole world 
will know my anguish. My opponent seems to be dropping slightly better cards than we are. Well, that's not very nice. Join the list. Too much against a tough unit. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. Well, let's hope Karma sticks sticks around for at least a turn. Then maybe Caxadios this Viego, yeah, yeah. possibly. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I serve my people with pride. Oh yeah, a couple of troublesome units over there, but Viego I think is the bigger issue. This looks like fun. Actually, I probably should have put this in stock. That was a mistake. I was thinking I didn't want him drawing cards to respond to that, but he wouldn't have had a chance to to respond. So yeah, that was just a mistake. You have to get me out of here. They're gonna be a little tough to come back from. At least we get to draw some cards here. Okay, so we just playing Ezra and like pointing all the bone at his face and <laughs> hope that's good enough. Smoke, ash, and dragon fire. Definitely seems like it's just gonna die to like a single combat or something. So we need to count how much damage we can do, assuming Ezra survives. Which is also is a big assumption. Hmm, interesting. He's just afraid of flat out dying to Ezreal. Like, his board's scarier than mine, that's for sure. That sucks. Those are not the cards I want to want to be drawing here. I 
Yeah, that's actually probably a good defensive ruination. But I don't know, maybe maybe now we, it gives us a chance to like... Oh, we, we should attack there, by the way. We're just missing two damage for no good reason. Follow where I can. Okay, so we can pretend the opponent's at seven, see if that would have made a difference, but I do think it would not have make a difference. We know we have a vent that's coming up pretty soon, but that doesn't help us too much. Tough places bring tough people. That two damage that we missed might come back to haunt us. Well, he's also one unit away from just flat out killing us. Uh, no, we, we have a chance of drawing the vengeance, so not necessarily true. So close. Well, that is not a vengeance. We do have to play this so we don't die to damage. Ah, uh, that looks like this game. Five, six, yeah, just enough. What a specimen. So thankfully the two damage we uh, missed did not come into account. And almost did though. Now the only other thing is like if we um let's see which one is it here? I think it's Pogger Stay Still. Now if we open attack with Ezreal, but it's like you don't have a play around Ruination. But yeah, if we open attack with Ezreal, we probably we probably would have um, the, the double mystic shot to face that Ezreal generated. Plus all this puff caps, that would have been lethal. But there's also like a good chance that Ezra was just gonna like consider strike there, so that's not even guaranteed. Hex. We ran into him before. Because I remember mentioning how much I missed the game. Oh wow, what is this sand? Not that much better, to be honest. Could be worse though. At least have a two drop. We could play this on um, turn three if if needed. No poppy, at least. I smell a rat. Give me chase. I'll never see these coming. 
Ah, uh, no puff gap, boo. <laughs> This is. Anyways, we make this block. It's like Popa Basic and Willing Death. I don't know, but. Just a might and try to push damage. Uh, I don't think that's worth it, in my opinion, but hey. I don't know his hand for sure. So maybe it is worth it to him. I mean, also knowing what I have in my hand, which is like nothing. <laughs> eh, let's see if he's got a second one. A second spell. Good chance he does, but we can still try it. Okay. So the useful information that we know is he had no, um... a little better for us. This is a pretty bad tri beam, but I want to finish it off with the withering mist, so that's why we're doing a pretty bad tri beam. We don't need to finish it off this turn. This is progress day. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so if we find some pranks, that could be an interesting dilemma. So, Prank is a card that needs to be generated, right? Yeah, like you can't draft it, so like I don't need to vengeance it right away. So let's start with the um, Blade Scout. Okay, okay, he is getting more value than I thought he would. I should have just opened with the Vengeance. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a mistake. I just gave him too many cards, though, that I didn't need to give him. Makes me a little upset. Because I was forgetting about other cards like that. It's like, yeah. Yeah, getting so much value off that cell phone because we just should have played Vengeance first. That was just a misplay. Ten 
tentacles off the spectacles, please. And look at all the cards he has in hand thanks to that, that octopus. Oh, that's so fuck, I should say. I was kicking this back to his hand. It's like, I don't really want to kick these back to his hand, you know? <laughs> so that's kind of an issue. I need a mystic shot that. Okay, let's play the Archivist, see what he gets us. A mystic shot, okay. Fair enough. So we only have one spell in the next five card draws, so that's good to know. So much card value. Interesting, he chose to play this on defense just to save 3 damage. Uh, I don't agree with that. I think you're a healthy enough life total that you don't need to... ...need to do that. So it doesn't look, seem like Swiftfoot's gonna get much value here because... Uh, it doesn't seem like my opponent has many, many um, units. Okay, yeah, the two axes are going to make it basically impossible to target Fizz, so that's fun. But thankfully Ezra is leveled up, so that means, um, you can block Fizz. Oh man, we just blocked, there's no question about that. He could definitely use a spinning axe to kill Ezreal, but that's completely fine. Well, let's make him waste another card. I don't... well, I had. We don't need a, him to draw cards. They barricaded the door. Doesn't matter. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. Hmm. That's definitely annoying, isn't it? Okay, well, definitely not attacking at a 5 1. For the Empire! Get all that? This is time. Stop right 
Gonna, assuming Kama doesn't die here is um, most wanted our ego apprentice and draw some cards. Still gonna most wanted our uh, ego, uh, ego apprentice. But yeah, it kind of sucks that he um he knows our homecoming, so we can save Karma there. Oh, he is running out of cards though, so that's at least nice for us. We're still pretty much favored here. I forgot we even have puff caps in our deck. <laughs> oh, I'm getting seasick. The same calling card from our other case. He's got a lot of cards. We're just gonna pass. I mean, they're probably not units, but there's also no reason for him to like force the attack and then he plays something afterwards. Yeah, Shuffle seems like very bad against his deck, though. With all the ETBs he has. Why is he not even playing his pranks? I mean, we, we need to use this while it's discounted, but like, I don't know why the heck, why he's not using his pranks at the very least. Another guillotine? I don't know, that, that doesn't make much sense to me, but whatever. Okay, I don't particularly care. We could let it die. I'd rather save the shadow set for something in the future, like maybe the karma. Um, honestly, this doesn't do too much. We might as well attack with the 7 5 where he doesn't have a blocker for it. be losing my 7-5, so this is a fairly easy play. Feel like the letting that commando hit me. You could just stun it, I guess, but eh. Everything's better with company. Says you. The 
Let's take a peek at life beneath the waves. That egg did it move. Never ending card value. <laughs> It's like, how many exit cards has he drawn already? It's been quite a few. Let's take a peek at life beneath the waves. I guess attackers, the one ones, don't really do too much, do they? I don't really want to attack with Kama. Doesn't seem like it accomplishes too much. Easy does it. Persistence is key. Okay, this is fine. I'm just gonna end round. It's like, why have these pranks not been used, though? Is he waiting for another Soulfolk? I guess it's possible he has another Soulfolk in his deck. That's the only reason I can think of not using these pranks. I'm just gonna head and get some Nightfall cards before Kama dies to something strange. <laughs> Why not? That's a mighty big desk rider. Yeah, let's just get some puff caps in this deck. I play Caitlyn next turn, I imagine. That a cloven way. Oh my! Oh, I ran out of cards. Um, <laughs> didn't realize that the game dragged down that long.
Whoops. As much as we have suffered. So we got eliminated because the game dragged on too long. <laughs> uh, let's see that, yes. Okay, well. Pay more attention to your deck size next time, buddy. Okay, well, <laughs> quick, quick break for me. Uh, funny, funny.